Guys, check it out. We got a new tool in the shack. The Tiny SA Ultra, Tiny Spectrum Analyzer. In the box, we have, which by the way, is a really nice box. This is a, a good quality box that you can keep for a lifetime to keep this item safe and sound. Now, I already have it on inside the box because... <clears throat> the screen is so reflective It will just reflect everything around it. The screen looks like a mirror when it's off Even when it's on it's still very reflective We take that out of the box on the side. We have a couple of ports. We have the calibration port which are SMA's and We have the input on the bottom. We have a USB-C charging port we have a 32 gigabyte memory card so that you can store your data on that memory card. And we also have a headphone port. On the top, we have a, a scroll wheel. This is uh, for accessing the menu. It's a, a push and scroll. And we have the on off switch. Let's put that aside for a second and go back to the box. We'll get that plastic holder out of there. And get it out. The, uh, the user's manual is online for this. So you have a QR code that you can just scan and uh, get you directly to the uh, user manual. In the box, we have... We have the USB-C charging cable. We have two patch cables. They're about a foot long. They're SMA connectors. There we go. We're going to use one of those, so we're going to keep one of those out. We also have a stylus for the touch screen, which we're going to keep that out also. We have a, a union to connect uh, SMA cables together. This is a female both ends. Along with dust caps to keep it clean. We have an antenna, which we're also going to take out of the box. Because we're going to use this telescopic antenna for what we're going to test. And we have, what do they call this, a lanyard? That's a... That scroll wheel that's on it, this attaches right next to that. And that guitar pick looking thing is for the touch screen. It's gonna, you can you know, just use the guitar pick. I'm looking at the camera instead of at the analyzer. All right, we're going to put that back in the box. We don't need that at the moment. We're going to leave that USB cord out. We're going to leave the stylus and one patch cable. And now we can get rid of the box. Get that out of our way. And let's bring that analyzer in shot. All right, the first thing you need to do when you get these is you need to connect the patch cable. We're not going to go through it because I have already calibrated it. But, you connect the patch cable to both the ports on the side, and then we go to Menu, and we go to Configuration, and we go to oh, the Level Calibrate. I went here, and then just press Calibrate, and it runs through a, a self-calibration, and it takes, takes it four or five minutes to run through the whole thing. Like I said, I already did that, so I'm just showing you how. Once you've got it all configured, then you can start using it. So let's take that patch cable back off of there. I don't know how much of a charge I have in this, so... I'm going to connect that USB-C cable and give this thing some external power. Just because we don't want it shutting off halfway through what we're doing here. All right, let's take the antenna and put it on the input. And I'm going to X 
extend that antenna. Now let's go to frequency. And as you can see, I already had it set up. We're going to put in 27 megahertz. And the stop, where it stops scanning, we're going to go 28 megahertz. So our center is 27.5. All right, we'll bring up the menu. We'll go to frequency. We have the start set at 27 megahertz and the stop set at 28 megahertz. So we're good with that. We're gonna leave this menu up on the screen so that we can get to that pause button. And what I'm gonna do is, let's see. First, we have that radio set at 27.2000. I am going to key the microphone, wait for that spike, and we're going to press pause. Now we got to get that menu off the screen, and we're going to use that scroll button up top and get that, that number one, that indicator right there. And we were transmitting at 27.2004 megahertz. And as you can see, 27.2000. So that radio might be off just a little bit. Let's bump that up. Let's just go up half a channel. And we'll go back to the analyzer. Unpause that. It's scanning. I'm not keying yet. So, it's only seeing the, uh, the noise level at the moment. But we'll key up that microphone. And we got our spike. And we'll pause that. Get that menu off the screen. And now we got to scroll over again. And get right to the center. And as you can see, that radio is pretty close. We're at 27.2049 megahertz. So the radio is just slightly low. As I was saying, 2.49. That's saying 2.5. So this tool can be used to put your radios on frequency. That was the main reason I wanted this analyzer, was to use it for a lot of the old radios that I get from uh, ham fests and and from eBay and from wherever. These old radios, a lot of them, after been being banged around and bumped around over the years, they get knocked off frequency. And uh, it's difficult if you don't have something like this to get the radio on frequency. But with this, I can use this just to just to get on frequency. If you got a drifter like an old Galaxy, a RCI radio, something like this is awesome. You can just have it scanning. And whenever you're transmitting, you can see exactly where you're transmitting. And you can adjust your radio accordingly to keep yourself on frequency. Guys, there it is. It's a tiny SA uh, spectrum analyzer. I'll leave a link down in the description where you can find one of these. As I learn more about it, I will be doing a lot more things with this tool, and I'm sure you'll be seeing it again. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.